Money Talks is sponsored by Astound Broadband. Okay, how much time should you be dedicating to your finances? Most of us don't really like to do it. My house growing up, mom did the shopping and dad balanced the checkbook. Those days I think are over, but budgeting and bill pay, of course, still need to happen. So let's dive in on an all new Money Talks. According to the website The Motley Fool, Americans spend just 1.8 minutes a day on their finances. That adds up to less than an hour a month. So we asked financial planner Rolandis Johnson if that was enough time. Once a month at least. Uh, some people may do it on paydays. Some people may do it once a week. But um, I say once a month um, at the least. Um, if you're if you're especially for budget reasons, once a month at least, sit down and go over your budget. Remember, some bills are always the same every month, like your cable bill, but an electric bill might go up or down substantially. So what does Rojo have to say about that? Right, and so and that's a, that's a great point. So when, you, when you're getting to, to bills and things that are variable and change, and one of the things I tell my clients, if you're comfortable with having on auto pay, by all means, go for it, because it's, it's less stress, you know it's coming out, uh, still want to review that budget so now there's no surprises. You know, I, this, I've got this much coming in. We take a look at the bill. It's, oh, it's increased by 200. Okay, hey, great. You know, we're, we're, we're covered. And remember, it's not just a need to know how much is going out. You also need to know how much is coming in, of course. Uh, but usually if, you know, you know when things are changing. So if you may have called out work one day or, uh, you know, missed work for uh, several days, you know you're going to have to go in and change some things up because money may not come in like you're used to coming in. Uh, but for the most part, um, even with those variable pay cycles, I think once a month is still good as long as we're truthful and disciplined with our budget. I think that's still good. Okay, so make sure you put the work in and remember the number one rule, the all important golden rule of personal finance, don't spend more than you make. Bailey? You're talking to me, Chris. That includes your credit cards, Bailey. <laughs> You're making us all money smart out here. Thank you.